guys, this is Mike Jones, and we're here to do another tutorial for you guys. So I had people asking how I make my cars crash on NR2003. Well, let's take a look in the folders. We gotta actually like kind of hack the game. So if you click on your thing and go to Open File Location, this is the fastest way. The other way to do it would be to go to your files, uh, go to Windows, Papyrus, NASCAR Racing 2003. So it goes to this folder. Anyway, you want to change the way they race at certain tracks to make them crash. So you want to go to your tracks folder, and we'll do uh, we'll do Daytona, I guess, as a example. So we got all the folders in the Daytona track. Well, what you want to mess with is this folder. It's the track INI file. So before you always do it, you want to make sure that you copy it first so that if you do screw up the track file you can go back and fix it so now you can open your track file the one that it's going to use is going to be the one that's just called track so the one called copy if you need to go back you'll need to rename it track if you had a problem with this one anyway so it will give you the name of it all this stuff that doesn't really matter I don't think and then you go down to grip this is how fast they're gonna go how much grip they got basically if you go too high on the grip, the cars will start bouncing like crazy. I don't know if it's just a glitch in the game or what. That's pretty cool. But the main thing that I mess with is the line modifier right here and the drafting distance. So at big super speedways where you're going full throttle, the line modifier won't do anything. So the line modifier basically is how hard they're pushing going in and coming out of the corner. I'd say they're on the gas a little earlier if you go above one and they'll do it a little bit less if you go lower so normally it's that these are set for the hundred percent difficulties that's why if you put the difficulty at 110 percent there's more crashes because they are going too high and they're hitting the wall coming out of the corner normally that's why uh, Bristol is one of the biggest ones where so many cars are hitting the wall coming out of the corner if you're on 110% difficulty. So you'd need to drop this down. I think I have it at 0.91, I believe, at my Bristol one settings right now. But normally that isn't that big of a deal. If you do have to drop it, just drop it a little bit. And if you want people to hit the wall, I guess you can raise it up. It's going to make the difficulty a little harder if they don't hit the wall because they're going to be pushing a little harder. But the biggest one to mess with is this drafting distance. So we're at Daytona right now. Before we mess with anything, we'll just take a look real quick on Daytona. So there we go, right here. So we'll put all the cars in and we'll just go into it real quick just to see how they're actually driving. Driver. So they're racing right now already. So this is what Daytona normally looks like with the settings that the game gave you. Where sometimes, once in a while, they'll go three wide. But they're drafting 1.55, so this is 1.55 away from each other. Alright? Well, people want them to crash, right? I mean, that's what this video is for. Let's change this to 1.05. That means, actually, you know what? We'll put it to 1.00. That means they'll be bump drafting the whole time. So we'll save that. Now, you'll want to mess with this. The, the lower the drafting distance, the more crashes. That's all there is to it. But if you go below, below 1, their drafting is actually hitting each other. They will crash every second, so it's not good to have it too low this is even too low I heard the best is 1.07 to go to as the lowest but we're trying to show off them crashing. drivers cars so, so already you can see that they're already a little bit more crazy let's go one lap in advance oh they're already crashing we missed it well <laughs> Anyway, you show that there's a crash on lap one because of that. They're bump drafting right here because the drafting distance is lower. And what that does is when a car moves out of the way and comes back up, they didn't have enough time. We'll see. There's going to be another one. 
around, so we'll just have to see what happens. Just to prove it. It makes the racing look so much better. Bump trap into it. I don't put it this low because I don't want to wreck every lap because there would have been a caution and then they'd be stacked up again. Because that last crash. I can't even show you what happened. But I'm sure they're going to crash again real soon. <laughs> so we'll just have to see. And I guess, so, oh, they're four wide. And you get a bigger chance to get four wide. That's Anyway, we'll change that to uh, 0.5, they're just about to crash. We'll change that to 0.5, because I've never tried it that low, and I just want to see what happens real quick. 0 0.50. 0. You don't really need to add that 0 at the end. Remember, you always have to save it before it will actually do anything. You can mess with all of these stats on the side, and I will go over what all of them do in another video, actually. But this is just a quicker one, just showing you how to crash. And Drivers are. Let's just see what happens. When we bring the drafting distance so low. They're gonna not make it in the first corner because it's point five, which means they're not even gonna let off the gas. And that's how you get people to just go all over the place because the cars behind them push them out of the way. A lot of bump and running makes it kind of interesting. So yeah, you can kind of mess with this. Oh jeez, oh jeez, Kerber's gonna come back on the track. Cause a big one. Watch this right here. Oh man, there was already crashing involved. There's your crash for the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe for more, and comment any other suggestions for future tutorials. And we'll see you guys next time.